All right, guys, here we are, five in the morning, and we finally got in at 8.0.2, pretty much just like we had last time, on the water. And now, the thing is, it's like, before this had conditioner in it, I aerated it with um, air compressed with some air, and it went right back up pretty much within 20 minutes um, to 8.0, no problem. And... I, as soon as I added the conditioner to it, it just took long. And I added a little bit more conditioner off camera because it was only around 40 ppm. So I added a little bit more. And that dropped it down to about a 7.3 total is what I got. And now we're at a 60 ppm of conditioner and we're still at 100 alkalinity. Um, so what we did, brought it down to 100 alkalinity and an 8 pH, three drops of acid, took it down to 7.52, um, aerated it back up, um, and then I uh, had an 8 again and added cyanuric acid, and it dropped the pH down total to 7.3, and tested at 60 ppm and 100 alkalinity still. And, but it took forever, oh my God, it took forever to raise it back up again. And from 7.3 to 7.5, it was like pretty good, not too bad. But from 7.5 on up, it was just like, oh my God, you're kidding me, right? And that, again, just goes to show you, which I think um, could be wrong, could be whatever, I don't know. But um, what I'm thinking is because you start out at 100 alkalinity and 100 carbon in alkalinity because there's no cyanuric acid in this. And as soon as we put cyanuric acid in this, then we're dropping it down to roughly about an 80 um, uh, carbon and alkalinity. That's 20 lower than 100. Could be a little bit lower than that. Um, well, let's just do the math here real quick. So we have 100 reading alkalinity. We'll subtract our 60, our um, 60 uh, cyanuric acid times the SIGL 0.33. We're at about 80, 80 carbon and alkalinity. And the only thing I can think of is since that 20 um, alkalinity drop on the carbonate side is what caused the, uh, it just to slow down so much on the, uh, on the pH rise. So that buffered basically the alkalinity um, and that buffered the pH more on the rise up. So anyways, so let's get to this and um, now the water has cyanurate alkalinity in it. So the theory here is, and, uh, and everything is like, um, now since it has the cyanurate alkalinity in it, three drops should not take it down to 7.6. So that's what we're gonna find out. And, and, uh, and that will be the buffering uh, capacity of conditioner toward pH drop. So let's just get to that right now and let's see what we got going here. So finally at 8.02, now let's go three drops, three drops, and let's see what we come down to. And hopefully we're not at 7.5. Because technically, it should take more acid to come down to 7.5 because of the uh, buffering capacity of the cyanurate alkalinity. Okay. So we got 7.7. Seven. All right. Very good. Okay, three drops brought us down to uh, seven seven okay now let's add another drop there's one more drop and what we got seven point seven point six one seven point six okay that's four drops and we're at a seven point five nine seven point six Okay, uh, I turn it on again here. You can see it. Seven five nine. Let's call it seven six. At four drops. 
five drops. And we're down to 7.5. 7.5, all right. So that's five drops. Five drops, 7.52. There you, there you have it, guys. Cyanurate alkalinity buffers that pH from dropping. It just took two more drops of acid to get this down to the same reading that we had with only three drops, okay? So that goes to show you that putting conditioner in your water will buffer that pH from dropping. And, and also, since we went down to, uh, and this is the part I'm guessing on, so this is the part, since we had no conditioner in here, we had 100 alkalinity, 100 carbonate alkalinity. They were both the same, this is both. That's um, total alkalinity and carbonate alkalinity were the same. You put conditioner in here, and then now you do your figures on a third, and that drops your carbonate alkalinity down to 80, and I think that's why um, that extra 20 on the drop of the carbonate alkalinity um, buffered that darn uh, pH from coming up so, um, so fast, like it did before without nothing in it. And then on the flip side, now we got um, conditioner in here, and it is now buffering the pH from going down. So that way you have to have more acid now to, to drop that pH because the, the uh, cyanurate alkalinity is buffering the pH, okay? Um, this is another book I wanna, you guys, I highly recommend getting this book by Robert Lowry. I mean, I think you should. Um, everybody needs to get this book. This is a, a shorter conversion of, uh, of the, the bigger book that he writes. And this book here just has everything in it. I mean, I would highly recommend getting this book, okay? So, there you go. Support Robert Lowry and, uh, and educate and get the book. All right, later. So, that's it. All right, guys. Um, well, I guess that's it. And again, it took like five in the morning. Five in the morning, I finally got the pH that I wanted.